What's up guys, Sean here, and I got a 2008 Kawasaki Versus 650. Um, really, really cool bike. I really enjoyed riding it. Check out the test drive video. There might be a link to it on this video. Um, or go to my channel and check out the test drive video. Really, really cool bike. Let's, uh, let's do the usual. Let's do the walk around. I'll show you all the stuff about it. If there's any imperfections about it, I want you to know about it. I just said it a bunch of times in a row. It probably didn't sound very good. Um, this is a one owner bike. It was maintained very well and traded in at a local Harley Davidson dealership. Only has 22,000 miles on it. And uh, it really, really runs good. Um, the guy maintained it very well. Uh, although the rims were really dirty when I got it. And I did a mediocre job cleaning them up. So whoever gets this bike, if you want this to be immaculate, you're gonna spend some time cleaning these rims off. Because I, I, I'm not into that stuff. Um, it does have the, uh, the Gibby bags on the back. Uh, they're not Gibby, they're I think they're made by Gibby, but Versus uh, Co-ops with them and they got the Versus badge on it. Um, I'm sure someone will tell me whether I'm wrong. And it, right, this is missing the, uh, the Versus sign. And you can see this bag's got, you know, it's got little scuffs and scrapes and stuff like that, kind of, you know, all over it. Um, you know what you would expect for a uh, for a bag on an adventure bike. Um, and these things are real cool. You press the one button, you open it up. You press the other button, you take the whole bag off. And it just it just pops right off, and then you can use that as like a suitcase. Um, but you need the key to do that. Which I have the key. So you got that right there. Looking at this little piece, it looks pretty good. You see a little bit of a very light scuffing right there. This metal bracketry for the for the side bags look good. You come around here, lenses look good. These are not broken off. He's got the stock um, rear fender. Well, that looks good. These are Continental tires, Continental attacks. They have really good tread on them. Don't mind the dirt. Just got a little dust in my shop. Continental attack, Conti Road attack twos. Um, I like the uh, I like the exhaust on these bikes. It's very slim, very low profile. You come over here. Now, I mean, this is a adventure bike, so you would expect that it, it'd have been down a couple times. Um, I'm not seeing any signs of that. This lower fairing should have got dirt on it, but you know, you would normally think it would have scratches and scuffs on it. It actually looks pretty good. Uh, the engine cover, no scratches, no scrapes on it. Even the foot pad looks good. That's just dirt. Um, all this stuff looks really good. The tank and the upper fairings look, you know, pretty close to perfect. Look at them real quick. It's got a tank pad. Little scuffs. Little scuffs and scrapes on the bar. And those scuffs and scrapes on the, on the levers. This all looks good. You got some scrapes. Light scrapes on this uh, on this windshield. Come down, look at the front. That all looks pretty good. The front fender looks good. It looks like a. It's not a chip. That's more of a. That's how the bike. That's how it's made. Um, some bugs right there. You can strip them off. This all looks pretty clean. Pretty clean for what uh for what it is. Some little chips, a couple little chips inside there. That's more to the dirt, but um, come back over here. This side of the upper fairing looks real nice. Bar end scratched up a little bit, lever end scratched up a little bit. A little bit of scuffs on that, uh, on that turn signal lens. Come down here, side of the engine looks good. 
Now this guy, he was pretty, uh, pretty good at putting uh, chain lube on his chain, which is great for main maintenance of the chain. But it does, it does make a mess, and there's a lot of chain grease down there. Um, that, I spent a lot of time trying to get that off the rim, but uh, that is the way you're supposed to maintain the bikes. Must no oil leaking, none of that stuff. Tank looks good over here. Seat looks in perfect shape. This give you this this bag also just has you know a little minor scratches and scuffs on it. You know, kind of what you would expect for a for a plastic bag. Um, really, really clean. Not really, really clean. It's actually it's very dirty. This bike is dirty. It's got dirt all over it. I did a mediocre job cleaning it up. But uh, it's actually a pretty nice bike for what it is. You would expect this thing would have been dropped a bunch of times and have rash all over it for being a uh, adventure bike. But uh, really, really fun to ride. Let's fire it up. See how it see how it fires up. Fires up good, like like you would expect. Now this thing is uh, a inline twist. Bike is gonna sell real fast, guys. All right, uh, subscribe to the, the channel.